Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day after the market close. Tom takes your phone calls from 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time using the data available at that time. Let's go to Dave in Clearwater. Hey, Dave, what's going on? I just want to express a, a flat-out thank you, Tom. Uh, I've learned more about trading from you than about any other previous three or four books that were combined, and I uh, just wanted to extend oh, a, a heartfelt it, thank you for because uh, you've uh, you've helped me make a lot of cash, man. There's uh, no two ways about it, not only just through, like, insights, but just the things that I've learned from you cool. and being able to call trades on my own. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go two hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day out there, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you are there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. In every kiss, in every touch, you feel you are there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow up 61, NASDAQ up 21, S&P's up 10, gold contract down $7.20 trading at 1,606 an ounce. Silver down 11 cents at $29.13 an ounce. Platinum down nine bucks at 1,419 an ounce. Copper up two and a half pennies at 3.42 a pound. Light sweet crude up 71 cents at $99.37 a barrel. Bonds up three ticks at 143.11. King dollar down 60 ticks at 80.23. The euro is up two ticks at 130 and the yen is up 10 at 78.16. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Okay, so what do we have here? The number we're dealing with, <coughs> excuse me, folks, is a 1292.66. That was the 27th. You got 1.4 billion there. So that, that's, that's your larger swing point. The swing point that we're very close to right now is the 1267.06, which was on the 7th of December. You know, you, you're coming into that dramatically lighter volume, but, but that baby's going to go get tagged that tomorrow, I suspect. It could even get up to this uh, 1277 tomorrow. You're going to see this contract with volume right up to these highs, folks, and that's going to be the sell. That's the way this thing is setting up right now. Dow Industrials. What we have with the Dow is this. Dow Industrials, you're up 61 today. Now, the Dow, bottom line, uh, you talk about hanging right next to it. So, the Dow swing point on the 27th is 12,284, which is only uh, 110 bucks away. The swing point from December 7th is 12,257, which is 90 points away. The Dow actually looks like it's going to basically get up and over those swings. That's the way that this baby looks. And that would be just deviant enough, too. NASDAQ composite. We go over to the composite. What do you have with the composite? She's up 21 bucks today. She does 1.5 billion. Now the composite is quite a way away from um, the 2753 level. We're at 2600. We'll say just 2599 to be exact. The composite did 1.5 billion versus 1.80 yesterday versus what you're going into is 2.4. So the composite very well, you know, could actually not even get close to the 27th. So when we, when we look at the, the structure, the Dow looks like it wants to get over it. I suspect it will get over it, close under it, be a failure. S&Ps would do the same thing. Uh, the composite, I don't think, is going to get near it. Let's go over to the small caps. First, I'll use the IWM. We take a look at the small caps of the IWM. What you had out here today is that the IWM has actually got into 74.67. Now the high, I would have much rather see it actually get to the December 5th high, which is 75.39. You wouldn't like it to push up there again. But the, nat the small caps basically rejected the higher level out here today. You know, if we go actually, that's, that's the 
the iShares. If we go over to the actual Russell 2000, and you look at the Russell 2000, that's at 745. I don't get the volume out of this until another couple hours. Um, the, the high of the 27th is 769. The high of December 5th is 752. And we got it to 748.21 today. Um, yeah, but bottom line is that I suspect this still wants to get tagged. Now, let's go over to King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar. What King Dollar has done is this. Uh, she did 13,000 contracts today. Sideways move, no big deal. Um, it looks to me, though, that King Dollar wants to basically try to get back to about the 78. And she's gonna have to she's gonna have to do this quick in order for the uh, S and P's to get up to that 1292. We go to the bond market. We take a look at bonds. We take a look at that 30 year that what the 30 year bond did out here today. She did 141 thousand contracts. Sideways move, pushing lower though. I mean, the, the, what you had with the bond market today, the high out here was 144.02. It closed at the 143.10. Now, what that's doing, folks, is that that is pushing into a lower price with dramatically lighter volume. So that is a situation that I suspect, number one, yes, it wants to go lower. But number two, that is just building cause for much higher price. Gold contract. We look at gold, what we've done with gold out here. The price spread in gold out here today was uh, 1618 to 1599 Now, the, the, the decent thing in, in this setup right now is that what gold did do is that that backed into uh, the downdraft of the 14th with dramatically lighter volume. But I suspect we're going to see, though, is that we're going to see that bottom at least get tested again, which is the 1565. It's the 1535 that hasn't got tested yet. Uh, but what this was showing today is that, hey, you know what? You back down only 86,000 contracts. Um, you know, it has further back down. But that's, that is a nice way to back down uh, because if the... If you back down into the September 26th low, as well as the low that was established on December 14th, the 26th low is 1535. The, the December low is 1565. You back down to that with lower volume, bottom line, then that would set up a consolidation, um, and it would be quite a consolidation, meaning uh, going topside. You know, uh, we had the uh, Tiger Dollar uh, Salvation Army um, you know, promotion folks, I do want to thank all the Tigers and Tigresses out there that participated. And uh, the Salvation Army is getting a check tomorrow for 4483 bucks. So it's a beautiful thing. That'll take care of a lot of people, folks. And we do really appreciate uh, all the support out there. Let's take a look at some of the high-volume stocks out here. This is what we had. You had uh, Bank of America was up $0.24. Cents. You had GE up 36 uh, Oracle was uh, down 8 We had Wells Fargo up 36. J.P. Morgan was up a buck 13. Uh, Akamai, that had some juice. We'll get over and take a look at that. Akamai was up 496. They took over a company and evidently the market liked it. Exxon Mobil was up a buck 17. Um, Micron Technology. Now check this out. This is this is pretty wild. Uh, if we if we take a look at Micron, you know when Micron came out with their numbers last night, folks, Micron was trading down 20 to 30 cents. Micron opened this morning flat and just took off. Um, you know, actually, Micron had closed uh, last night at 5.54. It was trading down at about the 5.34. Opens up this morning at 5.71. Has juice underneath the two, by the way. Uh, and if you do go back and take a look at Micron, you'll see on the 16th of November, uh, you got a buyer in there then also. Uh, Micron went from 5.45 uh, to 6.84, continued up to 7 bucks. Uh, did that with 96 million shares. It pulled back with uh, 36 million. Uh, Akamai, A-K-A-M, uh, Akamai Technology, uh, the lows 18, the highs 52. Uh, this little baby, uh, this, is, this, is, this is a really interesting one uh, because what you have here is that this, this equity had gapped down, folks, going all the way back in July. We gapped down from 30 bucks uh, to 23. Comes back topside. Let's see what else we have inside this. See what you're going into. Oh, she's, got, she's got a lot more work to do, but she started, no doubt about it. Uh, this little baby, you talk about a, a disaster. This has been one disaster, period. Uh, stock was at $54, and the stock went all the way down to 18 
So one, two, three. If you want to see something that's really drastic, um, Akamai folks had three separate gaps all the way down. Amazing. And when you do gap away, when I say gap away, folks, most of the time that means down. But let's say we you flat out, you're gapping down. Just get out of the way because these things come out of nowhere. And Akamai just shows exactly what can happen. Uh, what will get interesting now is that because Akamai had such a big day out here, how it pulls back is going to be crucial. You know, you pull back with lighter volume, well, you know what? Akamai's game, because the, the fact of the matter is that it got absolutely destroyed. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at the XAU. XAU today, flat market. You're at a buck 84 right now. And uh, what does want to get tagged out here is the $1.71. Uh, 171 was the low of the 4th. That little baby does want to get tagged. You look at XAU, which is the uh, Gold Bugs uh, Index. And what you have with the Gold Bugs Index, that also is flat out here. Uh, once you get tagged, the Gold Bugs Index comes all the way down to that uh, uh, one seven. Oh, HUI. Sorry, I just did that. Sorry. One second. I knew I was looking. The HUI, folks, is at 508. And that low that was established also on... On October 4th, which is the 482, uh, does want to get tagged. What it's doing right now, and this is kind of dangerous, actually real dangerous, you don't want to see cars being built at lows. And that's what you have happening right now. Uh, we've been here for about, uh, well, we have been here for six trading days. And what happens, folks, is that you don't want to see strength being built up uh, like a little locomotive to try to get into that lower swing point. The lower swing point wants to be tagged. It's always better when you come down fast, furious, and the volume comes out of the market before it gets to the swing point. When, when you have that scenario that's happening, that's when those swing points can hold. When you come down and you stop before the swing point, and then you start going sideways for two, three, four weeks, and some inside that consolidation you actually see more volume down than coming up that's problematic because what that's doing that's building cars building force in order to get into lower price uh, over in europe today we had you had the uh the FTSE uh, at 54 uh, 56 that also wants to uh, get up into the um, october 27th time frame this is tom o'brien this is tfnn uh you stay right there folks uh we're going to be coming right back uh, let's see. So, uh, it looks like the House and Senate just got together. The, let's see. It's, yeah, the, the House rep uh, just come out and said that, yeah, they're going to get it together. Nothing like it. We're going to be right back, folks.